my tech world 11 here with the top four web browsers for mac 2013 now these web browsers are available for windows but i'm specifically talking about the versions for mac because i feel that the ones i'm showing you run better on mac and over the years more and more web browsers have occurred and most of them have developed into much better more reliable and faster browsers so here i have the top four web browsers to show you starting out with number four would be opera Opera is not one of the most well-known browsers in the world of the web, but I used to use it as my main browser a couple years ago, and it's still a pretty good browser. It's available for both Mac and Windows, and you can download it at opera.com. One of the things I really like about Opera is the mouse gestures. You see, if I go to Amazon here, the mouse, the right and left click together on my mouse, it goes back. You see, it just went back by just clicking. Now, if I hold down my right click and drag forward, it goes back to the last page. And if I drag to the left, it goes back. And you see, if I move the mouse around here, you can see the gestures. See, I can open a background tab. I can close my tab. I can minimize. And you can just see the gestures here from the mouse, which is definitely something I like. So it's easier than going up here, controlling everything elsewhere. Another thing I like about this web browser is that it has a speed dial for your most viewed, or if you want, you can customize it and put whatever you want. See, I haven't been using this for a while, so these are some of the default ones. But it is nice having that uh, tabbed speed dial here. You also get tab browsing up here, as you can see. Uh, one of the things I don't like, though, is that it is not a unified search bar. It is two separate search bars, as you can see here. It does have a password keeper. And it does have a voice control, which is pretty nice too. This isn't blazing fast, but I'll show you some of the speeds here. If I quit this, and I'll start it fresh, I'll show you the speed of how long it takes to open. See, it's pretty fast. And I open Amazon. See, it also is pretty quick. So that's Opera. For available for Mac and Windows. The next one is Mozilla Firefox. This is one of the more well-known web browsers and it is definitely accumulated over the years that many people have started to use it. It's all the basic features, add-ons, skins, tab browsing, RSS feeds, autofill, and toolbars. See I have a Swagbucks toolbar and if you want to see a video for Swagbucks, how to make money online for free. I'll have an annotation for that. And for Firefox, it is available for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android, so you can have it synced with all your devices. It has pretty good speed results, and I'll show you the test as I did before. It starts out very quickly, and then I'll open up in my uh, tabbed section here the search result for Mozilla Firefox, and you can see it's pretty good speeds. Uh, this does have an add-ons and skins store. Uh, so you have an add-ons bar here. And this is a pretty nice browser. Definitely like it. There is a lot of customization. And this is number three. Now let's get to number two. Number two for me would be Safari. Now Safari is the default web browser for Mac. And it's available for Windows. But to be honest, it kind of stinks for Windows. Uh, this is the only pre-installed web browser for Mac. There's nothing wrong with this browser at all. This is not quite number one for me. Safari is loaded with tons of features, especially if you're an iOS user. You get iCloud tabs, which you see here. You can see on my iPhone and my iPad, you can see what I have open, which is pretty nice. You can see up here, you have a reading list. So all these I have in my reading list, I can get for offline. So I don't need internet access to get to the reading list, which also syncs with iOS devices. You get a reading feed, so if I go to a website and say I load an article, I can open this up in Reader, I'll get rid of all the clutter, all the ads, and I'll present it in a nice and elegant form, which I love. Another thing, you get great sharing options, Facebook, Twitter, message, email, add reading list, you get a nice elegant... Uh, top sites and history you get your bookmarks which also sync and you get your reading list as I showed you before 
This is a pretty fast web browser, and I'll show you the same speed test here. And you can see how quickly that loaded. And I'll search for something, and you can see that was pretty fast. So this is a very nice browser. You do get add-ons, like uh, one of them I have is Adblocker, which you have installed, and there is a add-on store for Safari. I think all of them are free. I'm not completely sure on that. Uh, and basically, you can get add-ons, anything from Adblocker to Twitter feeds and stuff like that. And number one for me, my all-time favorite browser that I've been using for years is Google Chrome. See, this started out very fast, as you can see. And all the pages load very quickly. And this is by far the fastest browser. And this is available for Mac, Windows, and iOS. So you can have it synced with all your devices. You can get all the features you want in a standard browser and more. As you can see, I have my apps here that I have installed. And here I have my top sites. You can also customize these to just your favorite sites. One of the things I think is the best feature would be the Chrome Web Store. You can get add-ons, you can get skins, you can get web apps, you can get anything you want inside the Web Store. And there's thousands of things you can get. There's games like Cut the Rope, there's you can get Google Play Store, you get anything you want. And it's just fantastic. You see right here this silver theme I have on, I installed. And you can see right here how it's silver. That is the theme that I have on. This is just a really nice web browser. It's fast. You got tons of settings. It's secure. It automatically updates. It's super fast. And you just get a ton of nice features. Um, I'll show you my channel here and I'll show you my video. And I'll just show you how fast everything loads on this. And everything buffers just so quickly. Google Chrome for any platform pretty much. And this is just a great web browser. And this does have a unified search bar, as you see up here. So you can search in a URL, like that. Or you can type in, you can search for something. And you see, you can search for stuff all in this search bar. So this is definitely a great web browser. It is my favorite, and I absolutely love this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to do so. And this is iTech World 11, and I'll see you next time.